To run an event with the Wireless Tabletop Controller, or WTTC, first connect it to power with a USB-B cable. You can use the AC power supply that came with your unit, or you can use an external battery with input and output of 5 volts, 1 amp. You can also purchase a power bank from CTS's online store, and external batteries are readily available at big box retail stores. Install the antenna if not already installed and rotate it upright. Use the scoreboard ports if you are using cables to connect to your scoreboards or deck clocks. You can also connect wirelessly. We'll get to that soon. Use the RSR connections if you are using run-stop reset devices to control game time and shot clock or play clock, depending on your sport. An RSR3 will also control alternate shot or play clocks. Turn the unit on. Use the arrow keys to select your sport. Press Enter to open it. Make sure the correct keyboard insert is in your unit. We are showing water polo. Other sports are similar at this point. Use the Run Stop button to start and stop the clock. You can also use RSRs for this function. Press the Horn button to sound the horn manually. It can also be set to sound automatically at appropriate times depending on the sport. For sports that have shot clocks or play clocks, press the reset button to reset the shot or play clock. You can also use RSRs for this function. Now let's look at hardware options you set through the software. While in a sport, press the menu key and select hardware options. Use the arrow keys to navigate the menu. Press enter to make a selection. Press clear to return to the previous screen. When exiting the menu, press enter to save your changes if you want to keep them. From this hardware menu, you can set the time of day. This will be displayed on scoreboards that are connected with cables or wirelessly. Choose 12 or 24 hour mode. Set backlight on or off. In horn options, you can set horn volume and tone for both game and shot or play clock. Scoreboard options is where you connect to your scoreboard wirelessly and control its characteristics. First, set the wireless channel and pan. Next, set your scoreboard or scoreboards to the same channel and pan. Be aware that wireless signals are subject to interference from all kinds of things, including Wi-Fi, cell towers, fire stations, airports, and more. It is possible that a channel and pan will work today when your facility is empty and not work as well during an event with spectators with cell phones and staff with walkie-talkies. If this happens, experiment to find a better channel and pan as needed. If you are experiencing a poor wireless connection to your scoreboard, try the following. Make sure there is a clear line of sight between the controller and the scoreboard. Check for physical obstructions between the two and eliminate them or move the controller if possible. Make sure the antenna is fully screwed in and pointing up. Scoreboard RSSI shows the received signal strength on the scoreboard. The number will be between 24 and 64 hexadecimal, so you may see both numbers and the letters A through F. The lower the number, the stronger the signal. If no number, or a higher number, change the channel and pan on both controller and scoreboard until you have a stronger signal. Select scoreboard state and press enter to toggle between on and blank. You can update the time of day on the scoreboard to what is set on the tabletop controller by selecting Update Scoreboard Time of Day and pressing Enter. Select Scoreboard Intensity and press Enter to scroll through intensity settings 1, which is low, through 7, which is high, and Auto. Auto turns on the ambient light sensor in scoreboards that have one. Select Scoreboard Self-Test and press Enter to start a test of all digit segments on the scoreboard or deck clock. Press Enter again to turn the test off. Select Active Scoreboards to choose which scoreboard modules this controller will communicate with. You can choose All On, All Off, or select a given module and press Enter to toggle between On and Off. Press Clear to exit this screen. You would use this feature if, for example, you want to control two scoreboards in a gym with one controller for a full court game or with two controllers for two half court games. See the user instructions, which are available on our website, for more details.